Yeah, guys, I'm always first. I don't know why you argue. I am always first in the stream. Okay, hold on. I gotta do some stuff here. We're gonna stream with... We're streaming back with OBS today instead of streaming with my normal software. We'll see if it's better, if it doesn't cause any issues, or if that was just YouTube issues. We'll see what happens. I don't know. What's up? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Yeah, the chat just kind of exploded. I don't know how, how long I'm going to stream today. It is uh, my anniversary um, with my girlfriend. We've been dating, what, five years? Well, four, no, it was five years. Apparently, it's four years or whatever. Anyways, so it's our anniversary. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know how we're going to we're gonna um, go out to dinner after I'm done streaming. Can I make tanks? Turn my mic up. Okay, is my mic too quiet? Hold on, let me turn my mic up. Is that is that better? Is that is that better? Is that that's a lot better? I don't know. It's weird. Like I had OBS set up for Twitch, and I guess Twitch has different. I don't know. It sounds different or something. There, right, I cranked it up. It should be good. Bye. Okay. Bye, Benjamin. Yes, it's better. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hey, sorry. I don't know. The settings must be weird. Uh, we'll just turn this down a little bit there on the desktop audio. Music's not too loud, right? That's good. Something like that. Whatever. Good enough. Will I marry? When will I marry her? Oh, we, we're, we don't have a wedding date or anything like that. And we're not engaged. What's up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. Should I use my, my racetrack for testing? Oh, who's got... Someone has... Okay, someone has a racetrack? You're right. We should use a racetrack. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's create terrain real quick. Um, I don't have a racetrack. Right. We need to go to the Steam Workshop. Okay, who's who wants who's got a racetrack? Who's who's got cool racetracks? Can you guys actually see my steam window though? Probably not, right? No, you can't. You totally can't. Cave and hill racing. Top of the workshop. That's pretty cool stuff. Parking lot. My stream's the best. Thanks, man. Nope, me. Okay, everybody's got a w racetrack apparently. All right, well we're gonna do this. This one looks cool. Uh, cave and hill racing. Uh, what else? I mean, you know, I'm just gonna search racetrack on the workshop. Okay, racetrack. And I'm gonna the racetrack by uh, Kivion. Are you in the chat, Kivion? Kevion? It's Kivion, right? I recognize that name. I've seen that one in the AI challenges. Racetrack uh, by Zepas Chin. I think. I hope I said that right. I don't know, I'm getting some of that one, some of this one. Uh, racetrack with a meteorite. Okay. Forest racetrack. Oh, Moombo's got a racetrack. Well, nobody cares about Moombo's racetrack. This racetrack looks good. Um, yeah, we'll sub to this one. Okay, okay, I think, I, I think I've got enough racetracks now for testing. Okay, let's see here. Um, do they just show up automatically? I've, I've never... Oh, they all do. Perfect. Okay, so we've got this one we've done for multiplayer money. This is uh, Scrapman's Racetrack, which, like, no one cares. Okay, Cave and Hill Racing. That looks good. Oh, no, I don't... Why? Really? I don't want that. Get out of that. Cave and Hill Racing. Okay, this looks good. Uh, the Racetrack. Uh, what is this? Another Racetrack? Okay. Everyone's making, like, huge tiles. Oh, weird. That one's like grass for half of it. Okay, cool. Uh, what's this one? That's another racetrack. Don't worry, guys. I'll read the track in a sec. This is a racetrack with a meteorite. We'll put this one over here. That's kind of cool. Forest racetrack. Uh, okay, we'll just do this. That should be fine. Oh, that was a small one. Fantastic. All right, that's all the racetracks we got time for. Uh, racetracks. Okay, let's um, grab this. Yeah, that's that's how you spell speedometer, right? Good job, good job, con. 
I built a box for it and congrats in your relationship. Yeah, my relationship's great. Like, my, uh, my, my girlfriend is also my best friend, which works out quite well. Um, I was talking about it on Discord, actually, this morning. It's kind of nice. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna super chat. Okay, cool. Got that. Check. What's up, Striker? Welcome to the stream. Icebound Glacian. By the way, Icebound is the one who is saying in Discord, um, about, uh, about building a speedometer. He's already, he's already built one. And it's basically, we're just gonna rip off his idea and then get you guys to watch it and think that it's my idea. Everyone wins. Great situation. You're working on a hover seamoth? That's awesome. Can you build an elevator to the skybox? Yeah, I did that once. It didn't work out too well. You threw up on someone on a roller coaster? Yeah, I saw that comment on the video today. Okay, so let's actually, like, let's do something. What do you think? Do you think we should, think we should try to do something? First of all, let's actually, let's go check out all these racetracks, because I spawned, like, every one of them. Um, oh, I don't have the mods for that. Well, that was silly. I spawned all these racetracks, and I don't have any, any mods enabled. Well, let's just, let's just grab a truck. This is my trophy truck. Is this? That's not even a racetrack. This is just some. Oh, it's a drag strip. Gotcha, gotcha. I think he wanted. To, okay, cool. We'll go to the racetrack part. Or is that? Wait, is that? I don't. I don't even know. Let's just get on this. Come on, you can do it. Perfect. This this track looks good. It's got some weird glitchy terrain stuff happening. This truck is not meant for road courses though. It um, gets the inherent suspension glitch. You could spawn your car. Do you? Okay, we need. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the workshop. This is actually sick, though. This track's great. These tracks are super grippy, though. I find, like, compared to like a dirt road or anything off road, the terrain race tracks are just absolutely terribly grippy. It's just like, holy cow, how much grip do you get? Like, look at this. We're wheeling, and like, I mean, yeah, this is a trophy truck. It's got loose suspension, but like. It's not, it's not that loose. Okay, I need a better car. Who has a race car? Someone, someone tell me, uh, what race car to download in the workshop. Well, except you guys, uh, yeah, I know you guys have mods. That's the thing. Who's got a vanilla race car that's good? That's the thing. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. You guys have mods. You guys are all, everyone loves mods. I only use mods when I absolutely have to. Like, for doing stuff like the roller coasters, you kind of have to because you don't have terrain asset pieces that could make i mean maybe you could make it out of rocks but it just wouldn't be nearly as cool you have a drag strip does anybody have like a, a truck that doesn't suck or a car that doesn't suck like this one does and doesn't use mods okay that was a cool track and then we'll work on speedometer stuff but like right now we just we just kind of spawn too much stuff okay let's go to a different track here let's get the brent batch flyer everybody loves the brent batch flyer my favorite instrument? Well, okay, so I play uh, piano, and then in high school, I used to play trombone, a baritone, tuba, um, and then uh, I played trumpet a bit. But, like, I play piano. I played piano mostly. I don't have any instruments in my house here, but uh, when my girlfriend and I move to our bigger place in a couple months, I'm going to buy a keyboard again because I really want a keyboard. You have to leave. Bye, IPK Gaming. Thanks for stopping in. Build a hover station with a gyro that counteracts weight exactly with thrust. Um, counteracting weight is hard. I mean, you can do it with multiple layers of sensors, but it's still difficult. Because counteracting weight exactly is difficult. The only way to really do it is just have... Oh, I still haven't even removed all these from the lift. Um, the only way to really do it is just to have multiple layers of sensors so that it's like, okay, when you hit the second layer of sensors, activate thrusters, wait, oh no, you're still on that sensor, activate more, activate more, and it, like, kind of like count the number of thrusters you need. You play clarinet, alto sax, piano, and guitar? That's sweet. My sister played the saxophone back in the day. Um, workshop, workshop. Okay, who's got something cool in the workshop? Skeleton, off-roader, done. Skeleton, off-roader. I don't see it. It's not, it's not showing up. Did you spell it right? Skeleton, off-roader, no. Skeleton. Okay, I see skeleton. There's a ton of skeletons. Okay, where, why isn't... There's no skeleton off-road on the workshop. 
You have to go buy it by Jalen. Thanks for stopping in. You made speedometer two years ago with no knowledge of audit. It was five seconds late. And Striker's always cool. I've known Striker for a long guys, I've known Striker since my channel had like twenty seven subscribers on it. Like that was it. A Ford thirty three hot rod? Alright. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I think it's I can't find it. Ford 33 hot rod. Searching. Oh, there we go. It's got mods, though. Dang it, zombie. You got mods. You've got, like, a million mods enabled. I need less mods. Less mods. Tron bike. Do you have a... Tr is it a Tron bike with mods? What's all you guys... Tron bike? Which one? There's, like, a million of them. Search realistic car. Yeah, Icebound Glacian wants to wants to do the realistic car. There's like a million of them. You guys, you guys need to pick like original names. You need to go like realistic car XXQ36.7 and then no one else will have the same name. You know, this is, there's too many of them. There's like 15 pages of realistic cars. Oh, oh, sick. There, look, look at this. Mods, like, hooking it up. Mad Scrap Car 2. Oh, my God. You want me to spawn? You know what? Fine. We're going to spawn... We're going to spawn Scrap Man's car. We're just going to plug Scrap Man's merch. By the way, you know Scrap Man's got an Instagram for his dogs, right? So if you guys want and you, you have Instagram, you should go check out Scrap Man's Instagram for his dogs. Apparently, his wife runs it. Okay, this is Scrap Man's Scrap Car. We're just going to... Oh, my God. There's so much stuff going on in this car. What's going... At least it drives well. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's got lights. That's cool. I don't understand the whole four-wheel steering thing on a car. Like like a race car, especially. Oh, no. That's, that's perfect. Oh, good. Yeah, it's Scrapman. Scrapman's car. Amazing. So good. Much wow. You guys have vastly disappointed me with your lack of vanilla cars. Everyone has modded cars. You guys all need to go right now. Boot up scrap mechanic and build yourself a nice vanilla car for those days when you're like, man, I don't want to play with mods. Oh, I'm totally screwed. Oh, this course is... Oh, boy, this course. Okay, we're not gonna... We're gonna... You know what? This, 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 scrap man. Scrap man, I'm sorry. You know what I like? I like the con Humvee. I even have four varieties of it. Perfect. Search black trophy truck. Okay. My Starfighter APC should work. Oh, yeah. No, to wait. Oh, it's an APC. Never mind. I thought for some reason I was, I was thinking of like a walker, like an AT-AT. -AT. You have a vanilla Formula One car. Okay. A lot of vanilla cars. That was your car, Blue? Yeah, I know it was. A mad scrap car. But like it, 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 it got wrecked. All right, well, this course is kind of kind of straight. You know what? Let's go. Let's just leave that there. Who cares? We're just going to litter this world today. We're in that kind of a mood. All right, let's go. Still got the cool character model. Let's just check out. I really want to check out this course because this course looks like it's got some crazy potential. Okay, so you drive up here. This is like the way to get up. Oh, this is this looks great. This should be a multiplayer Monday thing. Race this course. All right, and then we're going to try and build a speedometer on uh, on this course. We'll check out some of the other ones later, if we can get a speedometer working. Yeah, no, don't. No. God dang it. Stupid doors. Never put doors on a vehicle. I, I don't know why I thought doors was a good idea. It's honestly, it's the worst thing in this game. All right, so this track, you know, it comes up. It's good stuff. I love the way that these mountains absorb the track pieces that looks like a golf green right there like a nice little putting green four-wheel steering makes the turning circle tighter yeah no i know it's, it's i used it in the uh, ai city bus for that reason because you couldn't do it otherwise oh my goodness this is awesome but um it also makes them not handle as easily on straights oh it's so good this track is wicked no wonder it's top of the workshop What is that? There's some like mineral deposit. This is oh, it's like trees. That's cool. All right, come this way. This is this is nice. 
See, I, I don't know how long it takes people to make these kind of tracks. Like, it took me a long time just to make that roller coaster track. And then people put together stuff like this, and I can't help but wonder how long did it take them to do it? Oh, yeah, this was a stream. Sorry, I was supposed to build something, right? In my disappointing chat. Shout out to Eastcom. What's up, buddy? Did I make this track? No, I didn't make any of these tracks. I spawned in everything. At the, uh, I just went on the workshop and just searched racetrack and downloaded like the top eight of them or something. This is really, really well done though. Holy cow. Okay. Tracks are so grippy though, but man. The detail. Oh, no. Perfect. What up, Michelle Thompson? Welcome to the stream. I am disappointing chat. Search hot green hot rod. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to make a speedometer first. You play French horn and bass. Nice. We're still on the instrument conversation. It's it's amazing. I was... Oi, mods. Can we not spam links? Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not... I'm, I'm done looking at... I'm done looking at all the all the creation links. We'll do a viewer creation stream sometime, but I think to do that, I'm going to use Discord so that everyone can just spam links. I'll create a specific channel in Discord and let everyone spam links in there at some point in time. But not, not today. But we'll do that for a stream sometime. This track's sweet, though. That is a that is a good track. I would give a 10 out of 10 to whoever made that track. Alright, let's just go up here. You know, was... Did we... Did we... Did we even come through here? Can we... Can we... Can we... Come on... Come on, you stupid car. No, okay. Oh yeah, we totally did. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's build a speedometer, shall we? So we'll just build down here on the grass. So we got some space. Yeah, you can't speed up uh, videos when it's a stream. Sorry, I know you guys are all like, why hasn't he built anything yet? Okay, so. Icebound Glacian, which I hope I said that right. I think I think it's Glacé in uh, Discord because it's got the accent. But anyways, made a speedometer, and the principle is really simple. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but we're going to try. So I'm going to just build a test rig here, just to see if the principle works, and then we'll worry about putting it on a car for after. But like, well, first thing we'll do, we'll just we'll just see if we can actually make something that's. I don't know, accurate? Not it's probably not gonna be accurate at all. But anyways, here's let's pretend this is our wheel, right? And actually, you know what? Let's do this inside as if it was an actual So I have an idea. This is how we're gonna do it. Um that compresses. No, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? You almost need like Okay, let's let's pretend this is how we're gonna do it. Again, I have no idea how accurate this is actually going to be, but we'll pull the speedometer off one of the back wheels because then the back wheels will be straight and we don't have to worry about turning as much. Um, but yeah, and then on the front wheel, we'll leave it. Okay, can we, can we, there, there we go, need this. And uh, yeah. But if we put it on the back wheel, the back wheel could be something straight like this. So let's pretend that's our back wheel. And then, like, as far as I'm concerned, all we really have to do... Oh, crud muffins. I, I gotta... Sorry, this this has to be like this. There we go. Because we have to mount the sensor to the wheel so the sensor always stays. I mean, I guess you could put steering up here. It would be the same thing, right? You just put steering and then this whole assembly has to turn. Just it would be weird because your wheels would be offset, right? And then this should sense that, but if we rotate the wheels slightly... See, now it stops sensing it, right? So as we speed this up, it'll basically just count revolutions, right? Speedometer. Later, Striker. If you have to leave, see ya. Hi, hi that guy. What's up? Hi, David. How's it going? No name, 777. Right? This will be the basic speedometer. 
two dollar super chat from the noob 337 hi you're or, hey you're a great youtuber keep it up thanks man really appreciate the super chat yeah joseph put the sensors on the wheel also another option very true um i mean if you put the sensors on the wheel you could then sense the ground the only thing with that is if your wheel is free spinning in midair above the ground then it wouldn't be able to actually sense anything but let's pretend like this is that um so all i think this is i think the way this is the way um icebound glacion did it if i'm not mistaken and uh the challenge is to make it more accurate than this Now, I'm not sure how the, uh, how the, so, like, if this is our speedometer, And we put them to be the same. This is like the worst idea I think I've ever had. Oh, it won't be, it won't be enough. See, that's the thing. Hmm. See, it needs it needs to. That's I got. I wonder. Because the sensor won't even... Oh wait, hold on, I'm an idiot. This one's gotta be... That one's gotta be faster. This one's gotta be slower. There we go. That's not even, like, moving it at all. Oh, because they're going in the same... Oh my... There we go. Make sure to hook up the sensor to a mono monostable circuit. What? What do you mean a monostable circuit? What? 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 What do you? What? What? What do you? What? What do you mean a what? Use four sensors. I don't think I don't think four sensors is gonna make the difference though. I'm so confused what this monostable circuit is. I've never I've never heard of that term in my life. Well, this obviously has a flaw because that needs to stop. Monostable. I don't, I'm so confused. See, like, if I crank this up, it's just going to twitch faster, but it's not actually going to measure it. Monostable means covering the input into a one-tick pulse. Like this input? Why would that make a difference? This is no matter what still yeah no that's that's nice. Uh okay. Yeah. But then this is still going to constantly be cranking that backwards. Okay, well if you want to convert it to a one tick pulse, I can do that. But I'm still I'm still confused. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to see what your how your car works and then rip off your idea some more and then just like pretend like I know what I'm doing here. Okay. Oh, whoops. I made a I made a mistake. So that, that creates a tick every time it goes by, but I'm No, it spins too fast for the tick. I'm still confused how that would save my problem. I have to cut off the input. Yeah, pulse the controller with an 8-bit clock or the lift reset. You can just put suspension that moves backwards when it gets speed. I mean, that's true, too. Uh, the really cool one with the trees, that one, I think, is a uh, cave something. It's on the top of the workshop. Okay, you know what? We're going we're gonna to do something here. We're going we're gonna to analyze how uh, Icebound did it. And then we're going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Good stuff.
Oh, actually, I don't even know why I'm looking here. Is, see, this is why Discord's useful. What a champ. Alright, why is there a lawnmower in the... That's amazing. There's a lawnmower in the Discord. I didn't even see that recently. Oh, it's pretty... Yeah, updated. Okay, cool. Uh, fuel... Oh, you spelled speedometer wrong. Well, that's the problem. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, okay. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. We're gonna scribble to that. Yep. Okay, uh, hold on. Gotta get this back. Perfect. Okay, good, good. Okay, where is this car? Okay. Okay, this is, this is, this is all too very confusing. Okay, so I didn't make this, but we're just gonna pretend like I did. Okay, so this is my car. It doesn't work. Um, the heck do you have going on here? Okay, where are you reading your speed? You're reading your speed off this guy. Okay. So you're reading it twice. Okay, and then speed goes into a monostable circuit. Okay. Okay. You have that shutting off that. Yeah, which makes sense, which is fine. I don't have fuel. How do I fill? Okay, I'll fill it up. Okay. Okay. And then you're... What are you doing here, though? You're going... Okay, so you're going... Sensor input goes to a tick pulse. Wait, what? Is that what you're doing? You're making a tick? Is that an XOR? No, it's an AND gate. And an OR gate. Oh, okay, so sure, yeah, okay, you're making a tick pulse. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, but then where does that feed to? That feeds out to the motor number BOYO, which goes to that, which feeds that way. And what does the other one do? How do you... Where does this guy get a signal from? This guy gets a signal from that, which gets a signal from... Fuel? What? Okay, yeah, no, I see what you're, you got the same twitching thing too going on. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm, it seemed a lot easier in my head when I was thinking about it. Yeah, okay, no, I understand what you're doing there with the rotation. Are, are your motors all set to the same three, four... And max. Oh, that's driving motor. Okay. That one's four. That one's two. Man, you... Yeah, I am so confused. Put a timer and an AND gate to make it... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I, I just don't understand where you're powering your shut off motor from. This one's the okay, that one's the back motor. And that's two and that's four. Yeah, no, that's fine. So we need we need them at different powers. I get that much. And then this is the easier way, which is a very true way to make a one tick pulse, because I'm silly and I do it with a timer, but you don't need to use it with a timer, hundred percent right. You just go nor and not nor. Okay, now that's a one tick pulse. But you're not constantly powering this guy, are you? Is that literally just an... That, that doesn't even sense anything. That's not hooked up into anything. Or is it? Or no, it is. That's hooked up into an AND gate. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I, I get what you're doing now. I get it. This goes like this, and this needs that, and then that goes to there. Right? Is that what you're doing? Is that is that what you're doing? So if I speed this up, no, I'm still lacking a whole load of everything. Please make a speedometer for flyers. Yeah. I never checked out your fuel car in my fuel car video. Oh, my bad. 
I'm gonna sit in a corner and cry. Why why are you gonna sit in a corner and cry? I'm so confused. What did I do wrong? Oh, you have a smaller version. Well Why didn't you tell me that? You made like super complicated realistic version 5,687 and then I didn't read chat and then I was expecting like, you know, everything to just work out for me. So welcome to uh, Icebound Glacian stream. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Icebound's creations because uh, Khan doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, perfect. No, this is good. Okay, let me let me let me focus up here, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Okay, what do we got here? We have a two engine and we got a four engine. Uh huh. One's going backwards. One goes forward. Uh huh. Sensor, not gate. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Now I, I screwed this up already. See what see what I did? Okay, hold on. Nope. Didn't want that. Okay, hold on. Sensor. Okay, check. So is that that sensor's critical, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anything, anything else I need on that? Not gate, sensor, just that sensor. And, and not, okay. And, and not that one? What, why, why would you need the not of that one too? Is that, okay, and then that's and gate, and gate to that gate to, okay, well sure, is that, is that what you're doing? Oh, this is working out well. That's right, we're on the lift. Well, we've got the uptick. But see, that's not a that's not a speedometer, that's infinite. Cuz it'll just max out. And if I go slower, it's not like it's going to stop maxing out. What am I what am I doing wrong here? And to there, and to there. I'm what? That piece of there, that piece of there, that piece of there. What am I I'm I'm so confused. It's a speedometer no, it's a speedo. It's a speed go look is is if you look it up on guys, if you go look it up on Google. It goes if you look it up on Google and then it it corrects you and says did you mean speedometer like i i don't know i don't know what you're i don't know what you guys are want me to want me want me to do oh is that actually no see it's not it's not really working is it cuz if i speed this up it just takes well, i guess it does kind of work doesn't it You have 253 monies in my in your wallet. Am I worthy? Well, I don't want you to spend your money if you don't feel like you want to spend your money. I mean, that's the way it is. I'm so confused as to how this works, though. Icebound, you're a magical man. But I still don't get it. You forgot a sensor. Do I need... But do I need that second sensor is the question. And if I do, what does it hook into? No, that's definitely not what it hooks into. I'm still so very... Okay, and gate. Yeah, no. Norgate goes to there. This gate... This guy goes to that. Yeah, okay. So this one... This one's just... That's just a limit sensor. That's just like this. That just basically gives you a max limit of here instead of a max limit of that concrete block. It really doesn't make a difference. But I don't think this is actually measuring speed for anything. Because, see, I just slow it down. Or maybe it does. Does it? That's maxed out. Let's go to slow. Oh, oh, it actually does. Does it? I guess it only works when you, um... When it actually passes the sensor point, right?
Oh, you did it. I get it. I get it. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Bam, bam. So you could put four bolts on it. It would make it more accurate, right? But then it would change your, your speed curve. Did I do it right? I think I did it right. So I'm pretty sure what, what he's doing here, if I've got this right, is he's sending a tick pulse here, and then this responds afterwards. And because the one motor is slightly faster than the other, if it gets... I mean, I guess that works. That's interesting. That's that's actually a really, really cool way to do it. So I'll, I, I'll show you guys how I did it in the helicopter. Because the only place I've ever done a speedometer is here. And I'll show you if I can spawn it. Because I've done one before. And um, I'll show you how I did it. And you'll see exactly how I did it. And I'm going to remake it. Because it's more digital than this. This is cool, though. This is an analog speedometer. It's definitely small, but the accuracy's not all there. But I'll show you how I did it. This is how I did it. So this is my speedometer. Because I, I kind of done it, I've done it once. This one doesn't really output the speed, though, to you, but it could. So all we need to do, if we get in here... Watch what happens when it spins up. No, well now it's actually, it spins too fast. Hold on. There, okay, there you'll see it. Should work. There we go. So it's it's measuring, technically speaking, it's measuring the amount of pulses between two sensor points. And so this is actually telling you how fast that's rotating. And if we if we were to slow it down, I don't know if it'll actually work if I slow it down though. If it, it's, see, it's not very accurate. Uh, yeah, no, can we... So that's the way I did it a long, long time ago, and then it'll bleed itself out. So I'm thinking of doing something similar to that, but it's gonna be huge. But I wanna, I wanna see if I can do it. So hold on. This is really, that's really neat though, doing it with um, an analog. But then I, it, you're kind of lacking sensitivity, right? Okay, so let's, let me try something different here, guys. Let me, let me try something. This is gonna be huge though. It's gonna take way too much space, and everyone's just gonna hate me for it. But whatever. All right, let's do this. Gotta go. Bye, Gearbo Gaming. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Bad lag. You got lag. I don't have any lag. Try to refresh the stream. Okay. Do what you did before with the two engines, but instead of attaching the one engine to a sensor, attach it to your seat. That would make sense. If you have lag, uh, it should be fine. I got bitrate says it's okay. Six and a half thousand kilobytes a second. Should be okay. It's not giving me any warnings. 150 likes, right on. 563 people watching for a fraction of a second there for some reason. But still, um, analytics on YouTube is still messed up though. Zero people have been chatting. Hey, are you alive? Hold on, hold on two seconds. Girlfriend? Hi. Well, I was gonna ask you any water, but I can do it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, guys, if you have lag, try refreshing your stream. Anyways, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do something here. So I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's um just set up something really basic here. Thank you. Shout out, and then I'll make an animation of this video. Chap 180 animations. What's up? I mean, you don't have to make an animation of this video. You can just I can give you a shout out just for asking for a shout out. Doesn't matter to me. Um, gotta go. Bye, Ian. They stopping in. It's not lagging. That's good. 
Sweden Gaming shows the cat. The cats are sleeping. I don't want to disturb them. There's music playing in the background. Yeah, it's uh, no copyright sounds. Got to go. We back ASAP. No problem. Grab fruit. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do something here. And like, I'm 99% sure this will make like a 100%, like just a straight digital speedometer. Because all we really need to do, if we... Okay, so that creates a pulse, right? Should be a one tick pulse because there's only one tick where the NOR gate and the AND gate are both active. Because this has to be both active and inactive at the same time. So every time that passes, it should create one tick. Which it does. Not always consistently, though. At the high speeds, especially. But, I mean, that's the fastest response you're going to get. Okay, so let's try this. And then... Here's the, the key. And this is where it's just going to take a, way too much space. But anyways. Oh, no. Didn't want that. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Um, trying to think if I want a timer or not. Probably don't need a timer. Well, you know what? We'll, okay. Yeah, and then we'll just, you know what, we'll just do this. This will be easier. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna build a bunch of bits. There's gonna be way too much logic, but, like, I, I think this will give us a super accurate speedometer. This is my, my hope, is to, to increase the accuracy compared to the analog version I think this will work, because I'm basically going to recreate the mechanism that's on the helicopter, except better and bigger, and then it'll just be, like, way too big for a car, but it, it should technically give us perfect accuracy. Can I stream more Factoro? Yeah, sure. At some point in time. Everyone get me to beatbox? I can't beatbox to save my life. My brother is really good at it, but I, I am not. I'm not going to embarrass myself by, uh, by trying to be a champion. Um... We need this. And then here's the idea. I have no idea if this is going to work. We're going to test this on a very small, small scale. I got to delay that pulse just a little bit longer. It's going to flash because there's like, there's nothing you're going to be able to do about that. Actually, hold on. We might be able to, we might be able to eliminate that. Hold on, hold on. We might be able to go, um... Boom, boom, boom. Whoops. And do this. This might... I might be able to do this. Hold on. We might be able to extend this pulse a little bit. And then just extend the other one a little bit longer. by doing this actually whoops screw man i'm just screwing everything up today i'm deleting the wrong stuff sorry guys hold on i'm gonna read i'm gonna read the chat in a sec i just want to see if this concept will even work this is one of those streams where there's literally no objective to the stream so uh yeah okay so that's a pulse extender 
which will extend that from one bit to two. And then I need this one to be three. And I need it to be four. Okay, so like this is the theory. Right? So see as we go faster, it's going to light up less bits. Because it can't, it's resetting them before it actually gets to that point. So this would be somewhere between like two and three. So like let's let's see if we just keep that running slowly and we extend it out further, um, if that's gonna do anything. Let's just let's just take a look because that's that's the theory, right? I don't know how far it is, but that's basically the way the helicopter works. And the helicopter, when it gets all the way to the end, it triggers a, a, another circuit which does other stuff. But I think this will make a digital speedometer to some extent. This would be my guess. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I'm, pr I'm like I'm guessing that we can do this and then we can just hook them into like a not gate because they're always going to be lit and then uh, the reverse is what your speed is in theory this is really stupid to not just duplicate this but anyways let's we'll make a chunk and then we'll duplicate it I probably have a chunk already and I know someone's gonna be like well you could use XOR memory and it would be better and you wouldn't need your tick extenders yeah well you know what I don't care is what I say to that but if you did it with XOR memory, it would be all one tick system, and then you wouldn't need your tick extenders to make it good. You could just have one tick and then delay the other tick. And then that way, when you go through the one tick, it would delay the other tick and blah, blah, blah. And you'd make a speedometer, and it'll be like a week. And then, like, Brent Batch will come out with a video where he's like, yo, I made a speedometer that's better, and it works better, and yada, yada, yada. And I'll just be like, whatever. You know what? I don't care. That's, that's, that's how it's going to go. Right? Right, guys? Did I get it right? Steam community share files. Zom, Khan won't see it there. Stupid. Uh, the 2x scale roller coaster. I don't have the vehicle saved. I could I could upload it if you want. I wasn't sure if you guys would want it or not. It's pretty simple. But yeah, I could upload it. Okay, let's uh, connect this up. Uh, let's just delete... No, let's delete this, please. Thank you. Uh, and we'll call this bit two, because why not? But yeah, you could make this with, like, self-wired blueprint edited stuff, and it would be a lot smaller and work a lot better. I'm curious, though, to see how big this actually needs to be. The other option, too, is you could use, like, a binary adder and just add to, like, three bits and then output the number. You'd have to have a really fast circuit because it would constantly be updating, but you could do that. So you could have, instead of an analog slider like this, you could have a, um, like a binary circuit. And your binary circuit would just have like, let's say, 10 bits on it. And it's so, or not even, how many bits would you need? Like, 8 bits is going to give you a huge number. And just have an adder that resets constantly. And it's just adding a billion intervals. It would just have to keep looping and adding to itself. I mean, I guess that's the other way to do it. Make it smaller. Use a binary type system. So this is not going to sense the slow speed very well. See, this is still not very accurate, though, because you're, you're still only, like, you know, like, you're somewhere here. See, so there we know we're at like one or two or three. Here we're at like a solid two. Here we're at like five or six. Here we're at like seven or eight. And then this would need to go on like so much further. Put a sensor on the outer layer from the wheels. It's more accurate can work at higher speeds. Use more screws. 8 bits give you 256 different states. Well, no, 8, 8, is it 256? I thought it was higher. No, 8's what? 2 times 2 times... Times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Oh, it is only 256. My god, that sucks. 
I need more than more than eight bits. Then I have to build an adder. Responds to one tick. Okay, we'll put more screws on. I don't. I don't know. If, well, more screws. I guess that makes a little bit of difference at slower speeds. Now high speed is like still two because that's just the flat up limit. See, and then this speed actually look, look. High speed is actually slower than the slower speed because it's missing half the ticks. And then it, it's a non-linear. That's the problem too, right? That's essentially what I did in the helicopter, though. You have to leave. No problem, Sekalos. I hope I said that right. Shout out to Free Dumb. What's up? Gotta go, Henry. Thanks for stopping anyways. Can't you just put a long rod on a loose bearing plus sensors? Double the bits. Am I the low gang? No. Notice you, senpai. What's up? Your concept for this is in Discord, Blue? Like, is it is a speedometer concept? Is that what you're saying? Binary speed display. Yeah, see, you're you're doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's let's. Oh boy. Whoa. Why did that become the laggiest game in the world? What the heck? Oh nope. Don't want that. Oh my god. Ah. Stop. Yeah, blue flame is blue flame is doing it the the way I was saying there. I think. What are you doing? You got, yeah, you have, so you got a, a sensor sensing a pipe piece on a wheel and your sensor's not hooked into anything. Oh, that's just a duplicate. Gotcha. And then this one goes to what? A tick? Why, why do you, you hide all your logic, man? And then I can't see what you're doing. But you have like four settings. Okay, we're, what speed are we at? Oh, oh, you're actually outputting the speed in binary. Okay, so we're at speed two, and now we're at three. But how are you determining the intervals between them? You're just you're just simply going how many how many time how much time passes between the two sensors, right? I, okay, I got an idea, guys. This is cool, but this is this is Twitch, Twitch City. I'm gonna still need all this too, actually, which is a whole other problem. But anyways, I got I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Now we're gonna remove this because we need this. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff here. So my idea, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna use memory, but in a different way. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. We'll pretend like it will. Yeah, you're storing it every time, right? Do I like Jake Paul? No, I think he's a waste of time. If you want my nice opinion. If you want my uh, not-so-nice opinion, then uh, I'm not going to share it. Okay, I will ignore it. Thanks, Crazy Insanity. The 13 of Bros Me channel. Okay. What's up? What high school did I go to? I went to a high school in a small town um, south of Ottawa in Canada. All right, here's the idea. We're gonna use timers. It's very important. I don't know how many timers we're gonna need, but we're gonna need a lot of timers. Probably gonna need a boatload of memory bits too. Okay, here's the idea. And then we need to extend this guy. It's kind of how I did the helicopter, but not really. 
Okay, and then, like, in theory, so as we pass, if we go slowly, we should see pulses start to go flying down this timer string. Whoops. I mean, ideally, if you had this many intervals on your speedometer, it would be absolutely great. Did I not? I took all the bolts off. That's that's great. That's that's amazing. Okay, so this one should send like pulses down, right? Which it is. Okay, I need to, I actually we need to duplicate this. This is gonna be excessively ridiculous if I try and make all these bits. Okay, hold on. Guys, I know, I know, I know I'm slow. I know I'm slow. It's it's cool. This is gonna be the biggest speed sensing device I think I've ever made in my life. But it should be stupid accurate if I think this through correctly. Except maybe at really high speeds. Listen to Blue Flame. What's Blue Flame selling? It counts the amount of rotations that happen in one second. After the second, it stores the binary and results of timer. One second later, it does the same again. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I'm doing with this. Except I'm gonna I'm gonna this is my counter, and then when this ticks again, it's gonna drop out like this. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll pretend like it will. I'm just uh, sorry. I was just thinking to myself there, guys. I was lost in a deep thought, and my thought was, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But like, in theory, it might. It's about as confident as I can be right now. Okay, and then do this, and then this, and then this, and then like this goes like this, goes like that, goes like that, goes like that. Okay, so like... See, so that's our speed. Except this only works with a single bolt, because if we get up to higher speeds with multiple bolts, it'll, it'll kill it. It has to be one bolt, because it has to read the time every time that same bolt comes back around. Which means I need this to be stupid long. Because, see, now it's got multiple pulses going down the field. Uh, actually, no, we can fix that. Can we? I think we can fix that if we do this. Because this will reset the timers when it comes off the speedometer. I think. No idea, guys. I honestly, I'm. We're we're going on a hope and a prayer here. No, that makes it worse. I mean, all we really need to do though is look at the highest position, right? Because that's like. Because any slower speed... Actually, it's the closest... Okay, you know what? So let's let's just do this real quick. Hold on. Speed testing. Then we're just going to, like, delete this whole thing and just steal this chunk. Thanks. Speed test. I 
think that'll work. Read your previous message. Did you? Okay, you're you're. Would you were talking about the one that stored memory bits, or are you talking about something else now? It's hard for me to go backwards in chat. Unfortunately, it's a very it's a very difficult adventure. What's up, Hawk? Welcome to stream. Just you know, chilling, doing speedometer stuff. Like that should that should do this is gonna be a pain in the butt to wire up, isn't it? I didn't really think this one through. I should have uh, I should have kept the OR gates on them and just put a gap between them. Would have been easier. Just stitch them that way. I will do that if I need to put more pieces on. Again, this is... Guys, I, I'm well aware that we're not actually going to have this much logic ever. The easier way to do this would be to have a binary counter and have it run off a one tick loop. So it just goes like loops through and keeps adding itself up and then you clear it and then it adds itself up again and then you clear it. Because this is like, you know... You could do four bits, which would take up this much space, and you could go up to 256 of these guys. So, like, again, this is just a more of a proof of concept. I'm just very interested in speedometers and uh, trying to make one that's accurate. Because if this works, you could switch it to a binary type system the way Blue Flame has it. See ya, Clay Michaels. Thanks for coming in the stream. Sorry if you gotta leave. Bob the pizza 555 you got uh what what's yours called on the workshop You don't understand why you're still here cuz you don't understand a single thing I'm creating yeah don't worry half the time I'm playing I don't understand what I'm creating either it just sort of magically happens All right let's just uh let's finish connecting all this up Again proof of concept stream guys proof of concept if it works, I'll figure out a better one and make a video. Shit out the 13 of bros. Yeah, I already, I, already, I already did that, man. Bro. Bros. Four bits to six. What? Six? What? Six? I'm, I'm so confused. You guys, sometimes you guys confuse me. Do you know that? Someone say hi to Con. Connolly500, what's up? Try not to spam chat. Mods will get you. They're good guys. How will I fit in this car? Oh, you won't. That's not the point. But if this works, then I'll do it a different way. Which is better than this. Oh, right. I didn't splice these. That would, that would help. Uh, and then this one. Then this one. Okay, it's still not. So our speed would be like here. So that would be our speed. Uh, what engine setting is that? That's on setting four. Okay, so that's setting four. Okay, what about setting five? Right, here's five. Okay, what about six? And that's the thing. See, there's going to be other signals that are going down as well and stopping at different points. So you'd have to make your display circuit like a bunch of bits that says that it only takes the t highest bit. But then what's seven? Yeah, so seven's here, and then this is a problem too. It's non-linear, right? I can't even I can't even fit that. So seven's there, and then eight, eight's right here. It'll be eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, 
If you have a 40 long row of AND gates and enable it for one second by giving all 40 a one second signal, then disable for one tick and enable for one second again, you can count the amount of lit up gates. Well, I guess that's smarter, isn't it? Well, this works. I mean, technically, you could extend this out forever and you get to speeds 3, 2, and 1. But it's non-linear, so as you go to 3, see the gap between 5 and 4, and then 6 and 5, and then 7 and 6, and then 1 and... Uh, like I'm, It's like 1, 2, 4, but not really, and then 8. And then this would get... Like, you'd be out to here for 3, and then further. Okay, so let's do it the blue, the blue flame way before his head explodes. Blue flame is one of those people where uh, his head explodes a lot, I've noticed. Uh, happens a lot in Discord. It's it's a thing. Um, his head just it just spontaneously combusts. I, I keep telling him to go see a doctor about it. I don't know if he has yet. Um, but he's like you know he gets he gets so distraught by my failing to create anything good. So you guys all think I'm good at this game when in reality I'm I'm not. I just sort of do it. All right, so let's let's make the blue flame method here before his head explodes. I'm really excited. I'm going out for dinner tonight with my girlfriend. You know how exciting that is, guys. I am I am so excited. You have no idea. I'm excited to eat some good food with great company. It's gonna be nice. I like I like good food. With good company. Alright. So that's that. Did your head explode, Blue Flame? My doctor thinks it's normal. He thinks it's your fault. Yeah, I know, right? Sorry. I, 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 <laughs> I try sometimes. Can I do multiplayer builds with Moobo? Yeah, I should do a multiplayer build. It's been a long time since I've done a multiplayer build with any of the other guys from from the scrap mechanic crew. I mean, we do the multiplayer Monday, but I haven't actually done a build with them. Can you please do more multiple events? Yeah, I saw that. It can't tell the difference between forward and backwards. Man. You actually could, and I'll show you how you could do that. Here's how you could do that. Let's say this wheel's hooked into your your on the ground, right? We're measuring we're measuring speedometer off that wheel. You could do this, and if you do this, um, just like this, right? You need you need two speedometers. Or just an indicator that, like, a light or something that says forward or backwards. I mean, technically, yeah, you, or you could do it in the same speedometer. Although, I'm pretty sure if you go backwards in a car, it all goes through the same speedometer. Does it? I, I've never actually looked at my speedometer while going backwards. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go look at the speedometer while going backwards now. But anyways, you just do this, right? And have this just sitting somewhere in a creation. So now if you're, you know, if you go forwards, you go backwards, you could just pick up the two sensors, right? And then you can figure out which direction you're going in. You can even make the tolerance on those smaller, right? There you go. Now you can distinguish forward and backwards on your speedometer as you uh, as you drive. That would just be somewhere in your vehicle. But yeah, it was an interesting interesting thought. Okay, so let's let's read this message again. If you have a 40 long row of AND gates and enable it for one second by giving all 40 a one second signal and then disable it for one tick and then enable for one second again. Why one second? Is the, is the one second arbitrary? Is that is that an arbitrary number? Does it does it have to be one second? Like I'm confused. Couldn't I just correct me if I'm wrong? But couldn't I just do this? I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Let me just let me just do a bunch of AND gates here to test. Right. So then, like this goes to here. Uh-huh. So like that's this is this is just 
Really simple, right? But then, like, if I... I'm still confused why the one second matters. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Because, like, if I do this, it's just going to do the same thing. I'm confused how this one second thing works, Blue. I'm very confused. Wouldn't it be the same thing? Bye, Matthew. Thanks for stopping in. I mean, wouldn't it wouldn't it be literally the same the same thing if you enable for one second? You're just gonna still send pulses down the line. I'm confused how you're getting this. Get the signal to travel down to the next, and as soon as and okay, get the signal to travel down and reset as soon as the next signal enters, and check how far the signal get down before. The, but that's what this one was. That's what that's what this is doing, right? It resets every time a signal comes in. Well, I guess it doesn't. I mean, you could do you could do this, but then it's the same the same deal, is it not? It'll never it'll never go off there. First stream watching live. That's awesome. Just seeing how long the screw is in sensor range. Oh, the screw is like it goes in one block. Yeah, you, your car is a sensor in the transmission that specs. It's actually a gear, and it's a gear that goes to another gear. And then there's and there's two. There's one on the drive shaft and there's one on the the transmission. So you can see your speed before your RPM and then your your speed. Right, one's an accelerometer, one's a uh, speedometer, but they're basically the same thing. I believe in most cars it's over. I'm still confused about this. This one second, one second pulse. Okay. I'm confused. That's like that's a one second pulse. Is that is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that what, is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that, is that, did I do it? Oh, I guess this is, this works too, right? I still don't understand what you're what you're talking about with the one second pulse. You've got me so very confused, Blue. Read Discord. Okay, aye aye, Captain Blue. Yes, sir, Blue. I'm reading Discord. What do I do in Discord? Please stop with the extremely dead memes. That's not that's not Discord. Now what where where am I reading? Community creations, no. Logic chat. Logic gate has a point two five. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. So okay, oh no, okay, okay, okay. Forty gates makes one second. No, I, I understand that. I'm confused how the ones how you're tying in the one second timer into everything else is my point. Or do you just do like a one second repeating timer? It's also lag free. Maybe my yeah, my head is going to explode soon. I'm not gonna lie. It's your first live stream. I'm sorry to disappoint you, AJ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's twenty. What's up, K Talks, Brahalla, and more? Welcome to the stream. Do notice you're excited. That's awesome. What am I gonna eat tonight? I don't know. The, uh, the girlfriend still has to decide what we're gonna eat tonight. She gets to pick where we get to go. Doesn't matter to me. 
Gotta go, Weston. That's okay. Welcome to the stream anyways, and goodbye. Thank you for stopping in. Really appreciate it, as always. Okay, so how do I how do I wire up this this timer? I'm confused. Is it one second? Like like a one second repeating timer is just like like is that what you're? But then it'll it'll be off for a second too, though. Like unless I'm unless I'm crazy about something here. Like there's a one second repeating timer. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, it is one time unit, so that means that you are measuring rotations per Please look at my concept link in Discord. Okay, you guys are you guys are going crazy. You guys, everyone's just all like working speedo car. Gotcha. Yeah, yours is the same. Your Bob, yours Bob the Pizza. Yours does the same as um, as um, uh, what's his face is there? Uh, Ice bounds, Rayshon's glasses. Same deal with the analog stuff. We're we're. I want to try digital. This whole stream, I've been trying to build a helicopter. No worries. You can do two one-second timers. Yeah, okay. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, 40 gate delays, you know, it goes one second. I get that. I'm confused how this hooks up. I'm confused. Or are you just saying, or do I just, do I just turn all these on? Like that. And then like that. But then this is like, this is the same thing it was before. There's no point in me even having that second connection. I'm so confused. See, no one's, you still haven't answered the all essential question blue, which is how you measure the one second pulse against the timer pulse. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Because you need to compare how long this is going versus how long those are going. Unless you're, unless you're, you know what I'm talking about? Because this is 20, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5. That's 10. That's 15. That's 20. That's 25. That's 30. That's 35. That's 40, right? See, so yeah, I get it. This is this is one second. If I go like this and wire all these up together, that's one second pulse. But I still don't understand how you're... There has to be a second half to this AND gate. You see what I'm saying? And what's the second half? That's the question I'm asking. I, I mean, I'm, do you have an answer to that question? I'm assuming you do. Every second you can store the amount of lit up gates and then reset the whole line to start over. Yeah, but what what's causing them to be lit up in the first place? Okay, you do, I just miss it every time. Got it, I'm gonna look up. Every second you can store the amount of gates and then reset the whole line to start over. Is that is that what you're talking about? I understand what you're saying, and if you're getting lag, try restarting the server, the stream, because I'm I'm streaming right now at seven and a half thousand kilobytes a second, so you shouldn't be getting any lag uh, with the stream settings I'm using. I'm still confused as to how this is supposed to. Yeah, no, I got I got one second timer. But what's the other half of the gate? You have a one second. Oh, that's actually, I just saw that lag too. I think that's YouTube lag, guys. I don't think, I don't think that's, that's me. I just saw that as well on the YouTube thing. I'm still confused. 
No, I'm not. Blue Blue Flame's trying to explain something to me, and I'm very confused about how it's supposed to work. Like, that's transmitting through. Yeah, your internet might be too slow for the... Well, yeah, I know. Hi, Durf. What's up? And yeah, I stream at a high bitrate, so I have a lot of flexibility. You don't need that kind of bitrate, but... Gives you better quality of stuff. Add more wheels. No, the, the, the. Hmm. I'm very can I'm very I'm very Whoops, whoops. No, this is this is good. Once again, goes to show that uh, the community is actually smarter than I am. The wheel spins and creates pulses. It spins with five spins a second. There will be five g gates lit up in the line at a time. Aha. Uh -huh. No, I, I, under I understand that. Oh, what is this? Hold on. It spins and creates pulses. If you spins with five spins a second, there will be five gates lit up in the line at a time. No, no, there won't though. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. You're counting the... Oh, for... I get it. So you're... Oh, okay. So you're saying there's two right now. Because one... Like, one, two, one, two, one, two... Oh, I, I see what you're... Oh, it's not lit. Okay, I... Okay, I was confused. I understand what you're saying now. See, I was thinking you're talking... You're counting the number total. So you're saying there's two pulses in the line, period. I was thinking that you were going to have these two lit up if it was two per second. And like these three if it was three. I get it. You're just. But that's the same as this then. I mean, really. The only difference is you're counting them. So that's, that's all you're really doing. And then you reset the count every time the wheel passes back again. Is that. Am I right now? I get it now? Holy cow. That was like pulling teeth, guys. That was. I was, I was staring me in the face the whole time. I'm like, I don't understand why this is so... You're just counting. So you're just going, okay, so if I go like this, the problem is if you have a really slow wheel, you'd need, like, much more because you're going to have a lot that are like, that's one per second. That's actually one per longer than a second. Okay, but then let's just do it this way. Here's the cool way to do it. Okay. I understand what you're saying. I totally get it now. I totally understand it. I wonder if I still have my binary adder is the question. Do I still have an adder? Of course I don't. Why would I have an adder? That's, that doesn't help me. Okay. Does someone have a one tick? Let's just look on the workshop. We're just going to rip off the workshop today because that's kind of where we're at. I'm sure, like, Brent or somebody's got an adder. A full adder. It's a small adder. Adder plus subtractor by Brent. 16-bit addition and subtraction. No, I don't, I don't need... White blocks or input. Does anybody just have a really simple, like, adder? No, no one, no one has a simple adder. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll see if, we'll see if I can 
This one, okay, no. So, okay, yeah, I oh, will subscribe. See if, let's see if this, maybe I can duplicate this full adder, but I don't think I can. That's a small, it's a small adder. No, that's perfect. I'm, what, 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 I'm, I don't even know what he's, what he's trying to do here. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Why don't you just grab my seven degree display counter? Yeah, okay, cool, that's good. That, that works. I just need, I, I need a stinking adder. No, you, okay. Display counter. Futuristic wall set, futuristic stuff for AI competition, selector panel with display, steampunk generator, multi piece display, multi display counter, bright green, add one, bright red, subtract one, blue reset. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what this is what you need to do. This is the easiest way to make a speedometer. I'm just really lazy, not gonna make an adder today. But if you make, let's say, like an 8-bit adder, I hope this works. This might not, this might not work. This is the the blue flame. Right, so he's got green adds one. Where's your where's your display? Are you displaying in binary? Oh, you're displaying with self-wired XOR gates. Gotcha. Which is, of course, very convoluted, but anyways. Okay. So here's here's how you do it, right? Green into there. Uh, wrong way. Okay, so that should be a one second alternating timer. Then it should blip every second. And then we hook that into these. Oh, that's your display. Oh, that's the blue reset. Whoops. So you didn't even, you didn't, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm killing your bits. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, I'm just, I'm messing up all the bits now. Hold on. Okay, perfect. And then this goes into there. But see, now we could actually change this. We can make this like every four seconds. Okay, we need it even longer than that. Not 59 seconds. So we could do this every, it, but this is the thing. Now it's only measuring your speed once every 10 seconds. That's the idea. The display was uploaded too. I just grabbed the wrong one. Oh, well, you know what? Where's the, where's, where's the right one? Dang it, Blue. You're gonna, you're gonna make me do all this work to use your creations so I don't have to do work. Display with counter. Where's the display with counter? Or do I have to hook the counter into the display? Multi-piece display. Uh-huh. Do I just hook the display into the counter? Is that what you're saying? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? Can I just hook your display into the counter? Or is this one with everything attached? Oh, this is okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is what I'm talking about. We just need to make a car now that has this in it. Okay, sick. Why did you paint this? Paint your glass. 
There we go, and I can actually see it. Okay, 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 I got it. So then we'll just we'll just hook this up. Like that. And then this one. Uh, where's your green one? In the back? So like every 10 seconds, this should do something. Why is that not ticking up? I think it might be too short for, um, too short a pulse for your thing. Yeah, okay, so it's one. And then every, see, this is the problem now. Every 10 seconds, it'll reset, right? And it'll give you a new speed. So it's doing one revolution in some amount of time between zero and 10 seconds. So there we go. And then it should tick. What? See, why is it not ticking? What the heck? Blue, your counter's messed up. Blue. The scrap man's real name is Billy. Yes, it is. I don't know if it's Billy or William, though. But Blue, your counter's not working. Why is your counter not taking my tick inputs? This one is. This one's not. I broke it blue. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why your thing's not working. Let's try it again. Let me let me try hooking this up again. Maybe I just screwed up somewhere. Okay. Okay. Like this should work on a single tick, right? So reset should go to the reset bit. Which is this guy, which is an OR gate, correct. This is also an OR gate, correct. And I should be able to send this to this bit. Okay. And then I should paint that. Why is it not counting, Blue? Hello from Texas. What's up, Texas? Welcome to the stream. From Sweden. Hope you're having a great day too, Sweden. Oh no, is Blue leaving? No, Blue! He broke it. My real name is Mark, in case you guys are wondering. I don't think disconnecting the buttons will do anything, though. Because, see, I can hit this really quickly. It's just not receiving the pulse. What it is, it's just not counting it quick enough. This one's counting it, no problem. See, that's going one, two, three, four. Just the other one doesn't count for some reason. Okay, I just need a longer tick. Apparently, there you go. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's seven revolutions per per ten seconds. So you could say that that's uh, seven revolutions per ten seconds would be what? How many per? Um, that would be what? Seven per ten seconds would be forty-two per minute. 
So it's pretty slow, but then we can crank this up. Of course, now here's the problem is you, you run out of speed, so we'd have to go down to like four seconds or five, six seconds. So now, see, it's spinning technically. It's at nine. It's going back to two. It's resetting all the way over to two. But, like, I mean, that's the most nauseating thing to look at. You can't even remember what you do. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of where you're getting at. I mean, that's really the way you got to do it. You got to make, like, that's what this thing is. It's the same deal. But, yes, no, Scrapman doesn't live in California anymore. He lives in Vegas now. I still like this speedometer better. I think it's much more visual. I mean, obviously, digital display. I gotta really think about how to do a speedometer again. I, I definitely want to definitely want to work on it, but um, at some point in time, and definitely work on one that's more compact, probably with Logic. But uh, I haven't really thought about it yet. It'd be a cool idea, though. But anyways, guys, I uh, I am gonna end the stream. I'm gonna do a round of shoutouts here for everyone, just to make sure. Um, Shout out to Brian. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. YOLO. Uh, YOLO vids. Welcome to the stream. Gabriel. Artist. Augie. And the bros. Silvano. And suddenly YouTube crashed. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear it. ISMB. YouTube. What's up? Christian. But yeah, I am going to uh, I am gonna do... I am going to end the stream here because it is a quick stream and I do have to go get ready to uh, go out for dinner with my girlfriend for our anniversary. So... Sorry guys, it wasn't a really big stream weekend. I am going to stream a little bit more during the week this week. I have a full week of videos planned, so hopefully uh, we do more of that. I'm going to come back to this concept. i got to think about it. I like I like the binary idea, but I want something that's super accurate, and I really got to think about how to do it, and how to do it digitally, because the, the principle's there with the right concept, measuring the time between sensor ticks, but the problem is, is that the timer is not a flexible timer, right? The timers are always fixed intervals, so you got to figure it out, but... Um, yeah, I am gonna have a shout out or a sh shout out. I am gonna have a good time at dinner. I hope so. And uh, yeah, sorry, Blake. I'm just uh, the good news is the stream should all be up because it records the last two hours. But it is my girlfriend's anniversary today, so we're gonna go out and do some you know real life stuff. But I am gonna stream throughout the week a few times. Uh, not sure if on YouTube or on Twitch. I'll stream somewhere though, and then I'll also. Uh, Put out more videos and stream again next weekend. I'll try and stream either on Friday or Saturday next weekend. I don't want to stream on Sundays as much. I like doing stuff on Sundays with his girlfriend, but we'll do something. We'll see, guys. But anyways, thank you guys all for stopping in. Thanks again to the noob337 for the super chat. Really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to JP Gaming YouTube. Shout out to Julius, Alexander, Kill Kickoff. Shout out to KTOX, Orb Weaver, Beggy Vox, Remy, Reminum, the guy with the crazy name that I can't ever remember. No saw Jake technical plays Ivan Ivan Henry solo hunt pro Jack Shiva moist Henry red devil. Thank you guys all for stopping in really appreciate it techno Tanner rug as always I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Sorry. It was short. I know we'll do it longer next time But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it anyways, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye